Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Hey everybody, Kevin Jackson, it's the Kevin Jackson Show. Glad you're with me, kjradio.com. I want to focus on something that I thought everybody possessed and learned that they didn't. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a very simple word. It's called courage. Courage. I thought everybody had courage. I thought everybody had a breaking point. Well, they said, okay, it's on. I don't care who the toughest guy in the world is. It is now time for you and me to go man to man, hand to hand. It's on. Dude, I I figured it would be something like push your child, you know, hit your kid, hit my kid. Watch. Tell me you're the baddest guy in the world. Tell me you got a weapon. You got a knife, whatever. Hit my kid and watch what happens. You get what I'm saying? I think most parents would, would agree with me. I'm speaking metaphorically here. Hit somebody's kid. What do they do? They want to go after you. Even I think people that don't have kids, they can relate to that. You hit my kid. Or, I mean, I don't have any kids with you. Yeah, you don't have to have kids to feel that, but you know that's the case. Hit somebody's kid. Threaten to. They don't have to have a kid. Say, look, if you had a kid and I hit your kid, what would you do? Right? I'm thinking everybody says, oh, I'd kick it. Mitch, your boy will be on like Donkey Kong, right? But it's not the case. It's not the case. People are chicken. They really are. They're inherently fight or flight. It's flight. Get out. Run. Go. Head for the hills. You know the old joke when the, the bears come out of the woods and the guy says, what are you doing? The guy stops putting put on his tennis shoes. He says, you can't outrun that bear. And he says, I don't have to outrun that bear. I got to outrun you. <laughs> and he's in the wind. That's what people do. They look at what's the easy way. How do I get out of a situation? And for the record, we are human beings. We are supposed to talk ourselves out of situations. I get that. But I'm saying when your back is against the wall, what do you do? I'm thinking I grew up and you guys know this about me. It was in my first book. I'm thinking that no, no matter what you fight it out. You know what I mean? It, if there, it, so what? There's no army behind you. But I always thought that there was an army behind me. I was convinced of that. It's funny. When I wrote my first book, I had about 2000 people say to me, Kevin, you write a book. I'll buy the book. And I, we did a poll. If I write this book, will you buy it? And we did a poll on the website at the time. And 2,000 people said, you write a book, man, I'll buy that book. Shoot. So 200 books is what we sold. It, out of the group that, of the 2,000, it was one-tenth that actually backed it up. One of my buddies, Joe the Plumber, said he was going to run for public office. All the way up until the point of Joe declaring he was going to run for Congress, people were like, you should run for Congress, Joe. You're an honest guy. I donate to your campaign. So Joe decides he's going to run for Congress. And he calls me up. He says, dude, where are, the, where are the donations? Where are the people that said, I'll give you my 10, my 20, my 50, my 100 bucks? Non-existent. Guy couldn't raise enough money to, to pay a mor- make a mortgage payment. And he's going, these are the people that said they want you to do it. You're an honest man, an honest Joe, average Joe America, blah, blah, blah. Didn't donate a nickel. Look, I know it was during the time of Obama. It was rough for everybody. But don't tell people you're going to do something and not do it. That's to me, that's one of the, the things that you want to be known for is being able to say, you know, oh, man, if so and so says it's going to it's going to happen. But I can tell you and look, I'm not trying to condemn you folks. I'm not at all. But I'm going to tell you about yourselves from time to time. <laughs> you know, we, we talk about this conservative movement. We talk about the people we follow, the people we want to support. I question, are you being serious? Are you serious about it? Do you have the courage of commitment? There's a saying by a gentleman. He was a philosopher, a French philosopher. His name is Albert Camus. And he says, those who lack courage will always find a philosophy to justify it. (laughs) And he had a thing that he called absurdity. Yeah. Widely acknowledged as the greatest philosopher of the absurd. And his idea was simple. He said, human beings are caught in a constant attempt to derive meaning from a meaningless world. Now, I can apply this in so many ways, but I want you to marinate on that for a while. Meaningless world. I I, I talked about this the other day. I get up every day. I do the same thing. 
I start fighting these leftists. Now, the question is why? Is it because I'm so courageous and want to fight? Oh, no, it's Kevin. He just likes to fight. Or am I trying to find meaning? And the answer is no. I already know the world is meaningless. See, if you go to the Bible and you look in the, in the book of Proverbs and you get all the wisdom of Solomon, but then in the book Ecclesiastes, you know what Solomon says? All the stuff we do is vapor. Chasing of money, chasing of fame, chasing of whatever. It's all vapor because unless you believe in something bigger than you, it's all vapor. So you know what I believe in? I believe that all the effort that we put in here, though it's meaningless here, it carries through in some form. Not by my name. It isn't like the cosmos is going to be whispering Kevin Jackson, Kevin Jackson. (laughs) For, For the rest of infinity. I don't even care. I understand the level of insignificance I have in the world and in the world. Once I'm gone, it is no, it is of zero consequence, but I get up and do it every day because I think the bigger picture is important. And I believe for whatever reason, because you can't get it out of me. (laughs) Is it having that courage to do it, to confront it is going to mean something somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe I am uh, a victim of the uh, (laughs) philosophy of the absurd. But I think that many of us, while we're here, we admire the people who demonstrate courage. Who say, you know what? I know that goes against the grain. I know that's not what you believe. I know that you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't follow this course of action, whatever. I believe there are people that say that's an an admirable trait. And for me, that there's something I don't know. It's it's a it, there's something inside of that, because I'm going to tell you something. I don't think cowards are going to spend a whole lot of time being thought of in eternity in any in any way, shape or form. I don't think that's a trait you want to take with you anywhere. I'm a coward. Anyway, there's something else that was said about courage. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength when loving someone deeply gives you courage. And I think that the love of this country, the love of, because it isn't a philosophy for me. It's the love of the country and what it's done for me to give me. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath.